So, I'm feeling white trash today. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do a mullet. Okay. And smoke detector. Wow! That's great! You make them fun of me. No, but I gotta go. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below about how much you love this mullet. Oh yeah, smash the like button too. Duke Richmond. Hello and today this is quick home improvement tips with Duke Richmond. What we're going to show you tip number one here is is putting on painters tape. With tape, you got to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any of your home improvement stores. You got to pick up some blue tape. It can be purple, it can be gray. I don't care what it is, but. The blue tape I think works the best. Then after you get your starting point, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push that in. You're just gonna be, and you're gonna run it down the side and you're gonna make sure that you keep it right up against that trim right there so whenever you paint that it, it's a seamless, uh, the tear off process is gonna be just, the, that is, that, that might be the best feeling is when you rip it off. But what you want to do is you want to you want to feel that crevice right up in there and push that blue tape in there. And then just repeat the process. That's tip number one. Tip number two is measure twice, cut once, because you wanna make sure that you get your cut right. And the only way to do that is to measure twice. Tip number three, always make sure the power is turned on. Without power, how are you gonna run your power tools? Tip number four, when you're doing multiple cuts of the same measurement, Go ahead and take that same piece that you just cut off. Just lay that right on there. Lay that right on there and make a little mark and, and it'll be all right. But be sure to remember step two. Measure twice. Five, 
Always remember where you keep your pen. I like to put my pen in my pocket. Today we are live here in front of a very large building, very very large construct. This right here is Jake. Jake has been doing this for some 15 year odd years and, and, and he has been uh, uh, a real climber. He's been a real ambitious fella. He takes things serious and uh, Christmas light hanging is one of them. This right here, Mr. Gene. Gene has been doing this. <laughs> No. It's real hard to get any kind of word in with him because he's always working. He's a hard working fella. He's been working since he was only four years old. Not damn near as long as Keith over here. Uh, this is Keith. Keith Elderman has been hanging lights for the past 36 years. He's only 32. I'm fine. Since he was in the womb, his mom was up in there and, 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 and do it. He was in the womb actually for about six, six years. So it, that's that's where I get my math. Um, that is all. Goodbye. Thank you. 